Mm -mm -mm. Yo, what's happening, dude, bro? It's back for another freaking video. And today, I have some good news. Dusty Depo is not here. Yep. You thought I was going to say it's back, huh? Nope. It's not. It's... <clears throat> It's never coming back. <coughs> yeah. I, I just looked. <coughs> uh, I just looked in the patch notes. And. Yeah. Dusty Depots is not coming back. Or factories. They're never coming back. So rest in peace to those two locations. May you rest in peace. But we do have something that took its place. It's a new location. And it's at Dusty Divot. It's called Dusty Diner, that place where the snowman, not snowman, snowman. I wonder what happened to the guy who flew that rocket in the sky. I wonder where he is now, because <laughs> he just dipped. But, like I was trying to say, um, that snow truck, that snow cone truck, has taken over Dusty Depot, what's left of it. The, 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 the truck just basically just took over Dusty and claimed it as his own. And now the snow truck as the, the snow truck basically owns Dusty Depot. So now it's it for for it it's it for a control. So yeah. So that one snow cone truck just took over everything in Dusty Depots to turn it into something cool. Now I have no idea why, but look. See? So the zero point is still in the same spot where it usually is, but now we have a new location. Dusty Diner. Like a dusty depot, but this is a diner location because of what his that snow that snowman guy did. So we're gonna land directly there. My final circle is Loot Lake, so we gotta go there. But today we're gonna be the we're gonna be landing at the new and improved Dusty Diner. We're gonna be checking out everything here, boys. I mean, look at this place. <laughs> and they have the meteor thing, the meteor location thing of Majigger. Is that music? They have some music playing in there. Oh, my blue pump. The snow can uh the snow cone truck by the way. This is his to control. Dusty Diner. Out of here. Whoa. Ooh, what a decent shot. So let's let's let, let's look at this location and analyze it. So we have some little odd. Uh, Storage unit things where I guess the the guy who owns this store, which is Snow Cone Man. <gasps> oh, a new weapon! Huh? A new thing! The grappler! We're so using this. So this is where the guy stores all of his stuff that he doesn't want. And this is where the uh, citizens come and eat their food, which I don't think there's any citizens on this map, so I guess, unless if I, I can't see them. Well, there was one citizen that we fought back in a couple updates ago. He was pretty cracked, but like, yeah. Ooh, the heavy shotgun. I don't like the- Ooh, and a new, a new, wait. Ooh, a new healing item. Let's freaking go. So this is where the guy cooks his food at and serves the people. We got the bathrooms. Only two toilet seats? Wow. That's kind of... I would not want to eat here. <laughs> and then there's another area to this diner place, but we're going to go up here real quick. And we're going to show up here. So if you guys want to have, like, you get, if you guys have that fancy dough, you know, that fancy money, you guys can come up here and you guys can eat all, of the, all the food you guys want. 
on top of where all the other people have to eat on the dirty floor. You guys can come up here and just eat anything up up here, you know? It's pretty cool. I like that. Now, for this part of the area of the diner, so all you gotta do... Oh. Okay. So there, there's that. Um, so you just walk on over this ledge. Oh, hold on. Give me like three seconds. I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, so sorry for that excuse. And oh my gosh. No aim. All right, hold on. Grappler time. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, like I was saying, let's go back up there, because there's some historical events up here that you guys might remember. If you guys are OG Claxics, and if you guys watched the original Season 1 video that I posted a long time ago, it was pretty long ago, but my first ever gameplay of, the cre of this match was this. So right here is the Season 3 Meteor. So this is the Meteor from a long time ago, only OGs will remember. For this is the the season one OG crate, the first ever crate in the game. So they uh, they saved it, and then this is the season four rocket thruster that we saw in the uh, the rocket event. So the, if, so they just pulled that thing out of there and put it right here. So this is like for display things where you can look and look at historical events, which is pretty cool. I like that. And that's basically it to Dusty Diner. I don't really think there's anything else. Besides the music, I love the music when you go inside. Hold on. I love the freaking music, bro. Na na na. 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 Na na I love it. Oh yeah, and the zero point. The zero point is still chilling back there. Before we go to our final circle, I want to show what it's doing. It's like right, it's like over here just chilling. It's it's just vibing, bro. Don't hate on the zero point. It's just, the zero point's vibing, no? The zero point is just vibing. Don't mess with it. Well, it's vibing for now, until it destroys the freaking map because that's what it's here for. So basically, if I understand the storyline, the zero point is the main villain in the story. Yeah, apparently this zero point is actually a person, and uh, he wants to destroy everything in the universe. So basically the zero point is basically the main bad guy, the main Thanos, the main villain, the main bougie, you know? The main bad guy who wants to destroy everything he sees in his path. And he will, he will do anything in his power to do that. And I love his theme song too. And apparently he's trying to spawn his minions. If I if I'm guessing. And apparently the visitor, when he broke time and space, he accidentally released this bad guy from his prison. And he found a way to slip through our dimension, getting, you know, escaping his prison. So now the bad guy's on our world. And he's going to do whatever he takes to destroy this world since he's free from his prison. And I don't know if the visitor is going to have to come back to our dimension and try to destroy the villain. So there's a pretty much a cool story going on where this mad bad guy, the zero point bad guy who wants to destroy everything, is free from his prison. And I guess the hero, the visitor, which I thought the visitor was a bad guy, turns out he's a good guy. And this guy is actually the bad guy and he wants to destroy everything, so... It's a little bit of a complicated story, but y you should get the hang of it so far. Oh my gosh, hit your aim, you stupid gun. Oh my goodness, she's no aim, by the way. A 
chug, 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 chug. Oh my gosh. Dude, please don't make me do this right now. <laughs> I was not in the mood to do that. I wonder whatever happened to those little things right here. The little walls that were protecting the uh, the Sandy, sh Sandy Springs. I wonder if Sandy Springs is going to be with us for like... For a long time. Unless if they... Do, I, I feel like they're going to get rid of Sandy Springs in the future. Because it's literally... I, I, I hope they don't. Sandy Springs is probably one of my favorite locations. It's better... It's ten times better than freaking Risky Reels. And better than Retail Row. Risky Reels... Oh, man. I'm surprised I remember that location. Risky Reels was just utter trash. I didn't like Risky Reels. It was literally four buildings. The same building. But it was just utter... Dog trash, dude. I did not enjoy Risky Reels one bit. Retail Row, just one shopping mall and one guy inside. And then it got zapped to death and then turned into this Wild West place, which is pretty cool. And we have zombies, by the way. So I forgot to mention that as well, too. Crappler, yeet! I am a hero! Mmm. I am a hero. Mmm. 174 that thing did. That's a little bit over to a power. Ga 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 go ga ki 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 ki. Uh-oh. Bruh. Yeet. Do. Oh my goodness, bros. I wonder what season six is going to be all about now. I'm going to take a picture of this map, because why not? Just for memories, because why not? And I bet the question that you guys are asking me. YT King, uh, YT King X days. Do you want a new map? Now, that's a question I have been w looking at your comments for. Uh, back in Season 3, I saw one of you guys' comments saying, Do you want a new map for this map right here? I was like, hmm. No one has really never asked me that before. And I'm really thinking it back at it hard now. I'm like, what if I do want a new map? What if I'm like, yeah, let's get a new map. Uh, no, I don't really want a new map. But I know there's going to be a point in time where I'm going to be like, all right, this map sucks. Give me a new map. I know it's going to happen, and I'm, I, I, don't, I, I don't mean it, but, like, I am going to say it one day where I'm going to be like, this map sucks. Give me a new one. But right now, no, I don't want a new map. I love this map. This is the map where I grew up on, and I want to die on this map, you know? I love this map. It's so cool. You got tilted. Then you can rotate to any location that you like to. And then, just don't go to the zero point, because it's probably the most dangerous villain on the map right now. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, he's violent. So, yeah. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm about to kill this guy and get the easy victory royale. Alrighty, boys. I'll catch you guys later. I will think about, uh... Deciding if I want a new map, you know? I, I kind of like this map better, but if we do get a new map in the future... That'll be something interesting. But for now, boys, we're sticking to this map, and I'm going to love this map to the very end. G GG's, boys. Love y'all. Peace out.